OpenAI just held their first ever developer conference and they announced the biggest updates that are coming to ChatGPT. I'm gonna give you a quick recap in this video. First, they announced a brand new version of ChatGPT called GPT-4 Turbo. Now, GPT-4 Turbo, one of the biggest updates with it is its context window. So basically how much you could give it as an input, as your prompt. It's up now to 128,000 tokens. Just to give you some perspective, GPT 3.5 is roughly 4,000 tokens. This is 128,000 tokens. So this is gonna change completely how we're gonna use ChatGPT moving forward. Now this model is called Turbo, so it's gonna be much faster and it also has much more up-to-date training data. Right now they said April 2023, previously it was September 2021. So a lot more up-to-date now inside of ChatGPT. And for people that are building on top of OpenAI, the API also has the same version. So the GPT-4 Turbo is available for API users. And now it's up to three times less expensive than previous models. So not only is it far better, it's far less expensive too. And the API also has Turbo Vision. So it has the ability to see things that are uploaded to it. And it also has Dolly 3 and Code Interpreter built into the API. Now, another exciting update that kind of leaked the previous week, GPT-4 will no longer have that dropdown where you have to select between different models like Dolly 3 or web browsing. It's gonna do it all automatically starting today and it's gonna all take place in the background once you get the update. Now for developers, they also introduce something called Copyright Shield. So if you build on top of OpenAI, so if you're one of their customers with the API, they will take care of any legal expenses if you get into any type of copyright infringement. Again, as a developer building on top of OpenAI API. Now they also introduced something called Assistant API. So these basically let you create AI assisted apps a lot easier than ever before. So if you're building things using ChatGPT, this is gonna make it a whole lot easier. And two of the biggest announcements, one is the introduction of GPTs. So basically GPTs are a custom version of ChatGPT. It's a new way for anybody that could create a tailored version of ChatGPT basically for different specific tasks. So they could be everyday life tasks, anything at work. And then you could also share the creation, okay? So anyone without any coding skills using natural language could build these things called GPTs. You could do it for yourself. You could do it inside of a company for internal use. And later this month, they're gonna introduce the GPT store. So this is rolling out in November, 2023. And basically when you create these GPTs, you could submit it to the store. And once it gets approved, OpenAI will share revenue with you based on how much that GPT gets used. Now in their keynote, they showed a couple of examples like Canva GPT is one of them that they have coming up. Zapier GPT is another one that connects a bunch of different apps. So GPTs are gonna completely change how we use ChatGPT. These are basically the first version of what are called agents. These AI agents, they're called GPTs now, but they could basically go and take care of different tasks for you. And now you could custom create them using natural language without any development skills. I'm gonna dive far, far deeper into GPTs as soon as I get access in upcoming videos. And if you wanna stay up to date with all things AI, we have an entire course platform. So all these things, including GPT Turbo, we're gonna make a course about, all these custom GPTs and how to build them, we're gonna make a course about. And we have over a dozen courses already and it's an all-in-one subscription so you get access to everything with one low monthly price. I'll put a link in the description to that platform if you wanna learn more. Stay tuned for a lot more ChatGPT updates and I'll see you next time.